This is a reminder that on Sunday, August 26th, Let's Play at Navarre Autism will be celebrating Final Fantasy XIV's 5th anniversary with a special series of webcasts which will support Extra Life and the Children's Miracle Network. So come join us in celebrating this wonderful achievement and helping to support a worthy cause. people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Navarro Autism for the start of a brand new Let's Play and one for me that has been a long time coming. This is a game that I've been really wanting to get off my done list and I know that some of you are probably going to ask like aren't you trying to get games done that you still have not yet finished? And yeah that is still going on of course because we're still in the middle of playing Skyrim and I will be playing that through to its completion. But I really wanted to do something different and get something original on the channel for once in a long time, honestly. So I think that this is the right time to do it because, like I said, this is a Let's Play that I've been putting off for a really, really long time. And I think it's high time I finally actually did it. So, what do you say we get started on a game that was known in North America at the time as Final Fantasy II? But it was, of course, revised to be known as Final Fantasy IV. Anyone familiar with this game is familiar with the fact that when it was introduced to North America and Europe, since it was only the second Final Fantasy game introduced, it was therefore recognized as such. So it wasn't until like eight years later that the correction was finally made, and like Final Fantasy VI, which was recognized as Final Fantasy III initially in North America and Europe, it was also corrected, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. This is a game that I have not properly played all the way through um, since 1999. Actually, no, it hasn't been since 1999. It's been since 2000 because that's when I had the disc. We, we did get initially the disc in 1999, but I did not play it on, since 2000. And I'll let you guys know, I've only played this game once, and... It was done on the um, updated version on the PS1, which is known as the original version of the game in more ways than one. Not only was the title correct, but also the difficulty was higher. So this Final Fantasy II, introduced for the Super Nintendo, is the nerfed version. Because the first time I played this and got all the way through in 2000 was really, really hard. And I only just barely beat the final boss by the skin of my teeth with my final party member having less than 100 HP left. It was that close. It's certainly going to be a very intense memory as I get ever closer to the finish line. And so I'm looking forward to taking you on this journey with me. So, as you will notice, I have already started on a practice file. That's a couple of hours in, and so we are going to get started on a brand new game. And for those of you who are wondering, when am I going to reintroduce that specific type of commentary into a Let's Play? Well, this is the particular game that I'll be doing that commentary for, for this year. So without further ado, let's get Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4, underway. As we begin our journey amongst a fleet of airships. Very common in Final Fantasy lore, but I think this was the first game where they really were starting to be coming mainstream within the Final Fantasy canon. Captain Cecil, we are about to arrive! Good! Why are we robbing crystals from innocent people? That's all duty! Do we really have to keep doing this? Yeah, our leader seems to be having a regret. Why? Give us the crystal of water! 
What have we done? The crystal or your life? Never! Then take the crystal by force. Yeah, and they're not kidding when they say by force. Because... Yeah, those two guys got killed? No, don't! Dare to defy us! Yeah, and she gets wasted too. Yeah, like, what do I do? My... All right, take the crystal. You should have said it earlier. Yeah, step aside. We came here for something and we're taking it. Why is the king of Baron doing this? Why do you pursue the crystal so eagerly? And our get man in the blue has nothing to say. Although, given by this flashback, it doesn't seem that he's really all that happy about it. We take pride in being members of the Red Wings. Looting is out of the question. Stop it. Captain, we can't stand doing this anymore. Listen. Possessing the crystal is an essential factor for our prosperity. Moreover, his majesty judged that Mycidians know too much about the secret of the crystal. We are the Red Wings. The Air Force of the Kingdom Baron. The world command is absolute. Captain! Monsters! Yeah, monsters? Oh no! Take up fighting positions! Yeah, we gotta go to combat in the skies. However, we don't control what happens here. This is strictly AI showing off some crazy moves. Ouch. You okay? More coming! Watch out! Yeah, incoming! Yeah, now they've got a raven. They brought it in from Baltimore. And so, not surprisingly, it's gonna get shocked out of its brain. Everyone okay? Yes, sir, but there are too many monsters these days. Too many agreed. What's happening? Yeah, what's happening now? We're over Baron! Make a landing! Yeah, it's time for us to return home. Back to home base. We won't be going that to that town for a while. We're just going back where we belong. And so upon returning home, but to Baron... And here we have Bygan. Oak Cecil, is it the crystal of water? But Mercidians were so helpless. What are you trying to say? This way, Cecil. Yeah, follow me. The guy with the red cape reminds me a lot of that guy from Futurama who flies a... Uh, ship, but does so with no pants. I don't know what his name is, so you'll have to tell me if, um, if you know who it is in the comments. Please wait here! And so as he goes to speak with the king... Your Majesty, I'm afraid Cecil has developed quite a rebellious air. Truly... Well done, Bygone. We must do something. Call him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Yeah, so... Cecil, His Majesty summons you. Please come in. 
yeah, let's go say hello. We thank you for successfully completing the mission. Now, where is it? Here, my liege. Hand over the crystal. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Real crystal. Good. Cecil, you may leave now. But before we go... We need to ask him something. Your Majesty! What? What is it? We do not understand the meaning of taking crystals away from honest people. Disobeying me? No, I don't. We do know of your discontent, Cecil. If you cannot trust me, I can no longer place the Red Wings in your command. You are dismissed from your post! Oh no! Your Majesty! Go and hunt the summoned monsters of the Misty Valley, and... Take this package to the Village Mist. You may depart tomorrow morning! Yeah, we're like, we're trying to get some answers here, but we're not getting anything. Maybe this guy, Kane, can give us a hand? Your Majesty! Cecil didn't. Yeah, we're just getting pushed back here. If you're concerned about Cecil that much, go with him, Kane. Your Majesty! Now, leave with a package. Yeah, we have it. And we're getting the push out. Your Majesty! Yeah. Zero tolerance around here. Sorry, Kane. Don't worry. He'll put you back in command of the Red Wings after this mission. But never mind. Go back to your room and take a rest. And then he gives us information on what to do. Which we'll have to... We'll actually have to take it at various points in the story. So yeah, in case you're wondering, he's gonna hang out with his friends as Kane. He's not gonna be um, following us, at least not for right now. So we're gonna have to go ahead and leave the castle after we just got kicked to the curb. Yeah, not exactly the way we want to start this game, but hey, we are able to find this treasure. A Cure 1 potion, 300 gold, and a tent. So yeah some consolation for what just happened so there are various places we can go but we cannot get to everything right away so because of that we're gonna instead go to the left so we'll walk all around over here and head on down this way where someone else wants to get our attention you are not hurt I was so anxious and yes, this is Rosa. We are not hurt. How could we be? The wizards didn't even raise their hands. See so? Can I see you later? Yeah, later. Yeah. And by later, as in within a couple of minutes. Because we can go over here if we want. But if we do, we're gonna find that, yeah, this is the dungeon. So yeah, not much to be found around here. So instead, let's just go ahead and go this way. And, and tradition with all Final Fantasy games, for the most part, we have a guy named Sid. Hey, Cecil! Hey there, Sid. At least this game's version. He's gonna come on over and say hello. How's my airship doing? What's wrong? I was... What? Who's gonna command the Red Wings then? I'm not sure what the king is thinking. He ordered me to make an airship, but I don't want it to be used as a weapon. I don't blame you. 
Well, I got to go home. I have been working all night and my daughter is worried about me. And so away he goes, and so shall we. And we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'll speak to this young lady. I've changed the sheets. Leaving early tomorrow morning, sir. Good night. Yeah, we'll let her step aside. And we'll go ahead and advance the story by jumping into bed. So yeah, he doesn't even get into pajamas or anything. What happened to his majesty? The crystal of Messidia. Did we really have to snatch it from the peace-loving people? Never again, even if ordered. And then later that night, Cecil! Hey there, Rosa. What's wrong? You're not quite yourself lately. Nothing. Then, please don't look away! <laughs> How can he face you right now, given what has just happened to him? In Mercidia, we had to rob from the innocent people. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Oh, dear. I am just a dark knight with no courage to disobey his majesty. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? The real Cecil I know would never whimper like this. You are going to miss tomorrow, right? If anything should happen to you. Yeah, she obviously has feelings for him. Don't worry, Cain is coming too. It's late. Go back to your room. Take care. And so away she goes. Yeah, I want to run after you, but yeah. Thanks, Rosa. Still, I am just a dark knight. Yeah, with a lot weighing on his mind and... Yeah, having his main responsibility taken away from him and now being forced to do things that he didn't exactly want to be doing. Not that he wasn't already doing that sort of stuff to begin with. Let's go, Cecil. Outside the castle is the city of Baron. Let's gather information and equipment in the city. And so, away we heroically march. Yeah, let us through. We have work to do. And so now it's plot time. Yeah, look, two moons. And yo, that's not a gra uh, graphical error. That's actually supposed to be there. Thus, the Dark Knight Cecil was expelled from his command as a captain of the Red Wings. And he and Dragoon Cain left Baron for the village mist in a valley enclosed in deep fog. Airships had been a dream of many people. After the realization of the dream came greed and ambition. Through its fleet of airships, Baron became the most powerful nation. But why is Baron seeking the crystals? Why do the monsters keep increasing? Th 
the crystal was shedding its light silently. And so that, that we end that little bit of interesting stuff. Now, we could go into Baron if we wanted to, but it's not really necessary for us at this time to go into the town itself. And you're probably wondering, like, why can we not just go in there? Well, the fact is because the weapon and armor shop in town right now is not accessible. Not only that, but we're starting with both of our characters at experience level 10. Which is basically saying, yeah, I think we've got this. And as you'll see, our warriors are already well equipped for each coming challenge. And so that's what we'll be looking forward to as we move on to our next episode where we will actually begin pursuit of actually getting stuff done because, yeah, we have this package that we have to take to Mist, but what's in it and who are we going to give it to? You'll have to find out in the next episode. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the start of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And when I join you again, our journey to Mist will begin by going through a very scary little cave. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew of Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.